The following is a presentation of the Black Hollywood Live Network, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. Hollywood redefined. From Los Angeles, California, streaming live thanks to Akamai Technologies, this is Black Hollywood Live Reality Check, featuring in depth interviews with today's reality TV stars. Black Hollywood Live, Hollywood redefined. You're listening to Black Hollywood Live. And now, the host of Black Hollywood Live Reality Check. Oh, I miss the beat. <laughs> it's all about how you catch it. I miss the beat again. <laughs> but I got this one. I caught this. I caught that. Welcome back to a brand new episode of Reality Check. We missed you so much. I am your host, Ashley Gray. And join with me. She's doing. Girl, I feel like Tamar right now. I feel like I just delivered a nine, you nine, nine. You did, you did, you did that. I'm living for Dancing with the Stars. I never was ever into Dancing with Stars. And shout out to um, Homie D, who always be shouting us all the love on Twitter and whatnot, because he be getting so mad when we be coming for Dancing with the Stars. But the thing is, is Dancing with the Stars has always been kind of eh, to me this season. It has. I, I'm not mad at this season. I, I think I enjoy the age groups this season. I'm mad at, I'm the only thing that I'm mad at this season is Paula Dean. I don't know how I feel about having her on as a contestant. I just, I don't know. Now I know that it's easy to forgive, but it's not easy to forget. And I can't forget those racial, racial slurs that she said against my people. So you just feel like every time she dances, she's in her head like, I do. But I'm living for Tamar. I'm living for Tamar. Love Tay Tay. My issue was Shaka Khan because I was hoping, I was praying. You know Shaka is my queen. Shaka. Nicki Shaka, Minaj is mom. Shaka is my gay uh, stepmother in my head. Um, but Shaka Khan, I expected more from her. And she was the first one out. And I felt like she really wasn't there. But she does straight up look like Nicki Minaj. She does. <laughs> and you know what? I think that... We had Patti LaBelle, and she did such a great job, and she delivered, and we were so excited. We expected Shaka to, you know, bring it. Especially because Shaka's known as, like, the spicy one. Yeah. Like, but, I, you know, she's older. She didn't look like she was into yeah. something was, like, She not. wanted a quick check, and then that was it. And I'm pretty sure she's satisfied with the little coins that she, well, big coins that she got from the show, and she's done. But Miss Tamar has, has delivered for me. I feel Stop. like they be shading Miss Tamar because they give her good scores, but they be giving that young kid and that other girl that look like they on Dancing with the Wolves or whatever. I, I don't know what it is. When they dance on that porch, I was like, what the hell is it? Why did they get a porch? Not the wolf. Stop. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking at them like, bitch, this is not the notebook. Like, calm down. Uh, but Tamar, to me, is Beyonce. Like, this bitch comes out, she does her little... I like the young little boy. There's, like, a young kid, and he he's, like, really close with his mom. White boy. Um, oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I, yeah, like, I like him. him. I really he's like really him. Good. Yeah. He looks like he works hard every week. But Tamar needs to take this home. You know what? She Tamar and her I, partner, there's some chemistry there. Huh? A chemistry? I'm or like, is there wait some a minute. This. Dickistry. Because he is, first of all, he's everything. I just, did you see when he, the first episode of The Real this season, he actually came on. No. And that that's when I first, I was like, wait, do they got something going on? And it's 
which is really cute. Like all of their little interviews, check out all of the interviews on After Buzz TV. Um, all of their interviews are just so cutesy and it's like they have these little secrets between one another. Yep. And um, the latest interview that JC Rubio, Rubio did, she was just like so embarrassed and like, it was just really cute. I'm like, what's going on behind the scenes? Mm -hmm. And then they showed a clip of him and her and he like Tamar said something then he whispered something in her ear and then when they came back Adrian was like what did he whisper in your ear Ooh. yes and then Tamar that was is like, a, that is a yeah. And Tamar was like, y'all don't know he real hood. And I think Tamar like a white boy with some hood in him. I'm like, because Vince ain't never gonna know what happened at that dance studio. No. But I'm just looking at because what's interesting about that is they are the only couple that I've kind of like looked into a little deeper. Yeah. And the main reason is because I feel like they keep a we got a new studio, y'all, but they ain't pay the, the AC bill yet. Honey. <laughs> I've been paying for all these lights and TVs, fancy <laughs> TVs. <laughs> <All right. laughs> but I just feel like. They do this thing where they try to keep distant from each other. And maybe I'm reading into it because I just read, be watching. Read, honey, read. I be watching too much soap operas and the reality and the loves and the hip hops. Yeah. But I just felt like, I feel like they keep their distance between each other. But there's such a connection there that it's almost like did something well you know wendy williams says like it's so important for them to have like the partners to have a really good chemistry because that makes you just dance better so together just fuck first and then just get it out the way i mean he's cute girl do you think tamar would do that Oh, they're going to give us some AC. Thank you. Thank y'all oh. um but i really i think tamar i don't know tamar really I'm team loves tamar. fence but I don't know. And I love her new hair. Yep. And the only reason she mentioned before that she wears blonde because Vince likes blonde girls. Interesting. White girls. Wait a minute. Hold so, up. Mm. The other thing is um, mm. condolences and shout out to Kim Zolciak because yeah. did you hear what happened with her? Tell me. Apparently after uh, shoot filming this week, yes. she went to her home in Atlanta and had a mini stroke. Oh. It was just doing the most or something. And I'm just like, I hope you're okay, girl. Like, that's scary. Are you okay, Kim? You know what I mean? Like, we all here for the shade and whatnot. But like, girl, I don't want you to die or nothing. Too young to be getting strokes. And so, speaking of Atlanta and speaking of shade, Ooh. Cynthia Bailey welcomes new blood to Real Housewives of Atlanta. She says she's excited about Sheree Fletcher being Sheree on the Whitfield. show. Yeah. Sheree so, Fletcher is a part of Black Hollywood Live, which you can check out her new show coming up. She tried. She My tried. Um, but she says that she's really excited and she welcomes, you know, Sheree. And do you believe her? Is this a little bit of shade? Or do you think that... Mm. See, initially when I read it, I was like, well, maybe Cynthia's looking at it like I'm not going to be enemies with anyone that Nini was enemies with anymore because I know how Nini attacks situations. Yeah. I'm not going to judge Sheree based off her issue with Nene. So if that's the case, fine. But at the same time, Nene's been going around talking about Cynthia need to be off the show because she's boring and that none of the other girls are really like all those girls yeah. that we've rumored. Nene was like, no, none of those are coming on. So I wonder if it is a little spice up to be like, because I, I would be so interested to hear conversations between Sheree and Cynthia about Miss Nene. Cynthia's boring. She should should have been off the show. Oh, don't get caught. Like she's me. just like so boring. And I really love Sheree. So I'm really is it I think it's Sheree actually. Really? Is it Sheree Sheree? She by Sheree. I, okay, well Sheree. I really, really always enjoyed her on the show. I thought she was beautiful. Like I just really liked her. I enjoy she, her and Nini were my favorites. You could give me some color in your hair. I wouldn't be mad like a green or a purple. A green or purple? Side note. Okay. Um <laughs> I mean, I don't care who it is. I'm excited for whoever comes on the show because I feel like at this point they're going to go love and hip hop direction where they have like 12 characters, even though it's not, they aren't the main characters. They we're need to. Get, I'm kind of getting tired of them. At this point, we need to test out who we want on the show because I don't know who I want. I don't even know if I want Kenya, Cynthia anymore. Cause like, Kenya, I love Kenya me? though. I love I, Kenya. I live for Kenya. Portia because, can go. Mm, over it. I think it needs Port, to just which, be shooting Porsche stars. Porsche's not going to be sh uh, suing. Suing. Cynthia. Because of that drama oh on the gosh. boat and whatnot. With her kicking her in his stomach. Whatever. Did you see her on um, on her show, uh, Dish? 
they were talking about they asked like oh so did you kick her who got kicked and she was like ah, ah, ah. oh you've seen it yeah wait what's so what happened so basically they were like so we read in the blogs that you went to the emergency room like what's going on and she was like nobody like she basically she admitted to going to the emergency room but it wasn't like that serious she i don't know mm. it was just I'm, I'm over it it's just Too so boring much tea. who just does that like kicks people in this like it's just i'm over it i need to get some well, young cynthia kicked young her. can we get some i know cynthia kicked her but I mean, she probably was wearing kitten heels. She's like, but I like, just can't. But like, how young? Because I don't want it to be Bad Girls Club, but no. at the same time, I don't want it to be Wags, which Fine. have you been watching Wags on E? Yes. I No, but I love the girl. I love the cousins. I love, no, those They're are the only so, ones, but yeah. I feel like they Everyone are the only else ones is that so boring. Around. Girl, I cannot with what's in it, Athlete and her lip, and no shade on yeah. the list, but it's just like, if the I The two have cousins to, are so freaking cute. I are, love them. Live for honestly, them. honestly, like, that storyline about the 11-year marriage and you still ain't getting married, and the way your man I'm treats you, like, yeah. I I, I, want, I need her to come in studio because we do the live after show on AE uh, over at After Buzz TV. <laughs> and I want her to come in because I just want to say to her, like, girl, like. But I'm sure she's heard it all sense? before. But she's how just does that like. Make sense? She, I think that she is, it's, you know, you get so caught up in being with one person and it's comfortable and I don't think the money is there. And what else would she do besides him? I mean, I love that LeBron Cox is on the show too. Yeah. But we need to get everyone off except for <laughs> except for the two cousins and just bring no, on new people. But I, I like the two cousins and their friend Nicole, the model one. She's on my the nerves three. a little bit. Really? Why? Kind of. But like why? I'm just she's not really fun to me. Mm. Like she's kind of boring. Like if it was just like the cousin show, like I, no, it would be hilarious. Know. I think it would put the Kardashians out of business. I think so. Honestly. Did you, did did you, you see watch? Dash Dolls? Yes. You li- did you like it? You know what? I, I kind of don't like yeah. it. Because I, it's it, like. There's no storyline. There's no storyline. And it's kind of like Big Brother or not necessarily Big Brother, but it's kind of like real world. Everyone's living in a house and it's just like bringing home drama. And they all, it's just like, ah, I don't think I like it. I thought it was going to be more like the Kardashian show where people have like real like juicy storylines and like I'm like it was more about the sisters. Yeah. And their life. And then they dabble into Dash. Like, and the, yeah. Girl, I don't care about how the store runs. Like I don't even purchase anything from the store. Sorry, I'm not going to dash it up. But Ever. Speaking of the dashes. Wait, but were you going to say one more thing? Well, I was going to say that the characters aren't even like good. Like I don't mm. like any of the girls. It's just mm-hmm. like not my I know. And one of my homegirls, Lexi's on the show. And hey, like, Lexi. Hey, Lexi, girl. But like, you know, what I mean, get your coin. How you gotta get your coin? That's get all. Get a I'm coin or two. You know. All right. So speaking of the Kardashians, they've been in the news all week <laughs> <laughs> because Mr. Rob Kardashian in the news, and we never be hearing nothing about no. Yeah. Oh, so he posted a picture of Karuchi talking about my baby, but it, he's saying it wasn't really his baby or nothing like that, and that Karuchi be like sending him pictures is like cute because they've been friends for years okay. and i'm just like you know what stop the bullshit fuck the bitch and date because i think actually they would be the perfect couple here's why rob kardashian grew up in a scandalous hollywood family mm-hmm. karuchi was in a relationship with a scandalous pop star mm-hmm. they're both kind of normal like, Karuchi's kind of just the basic normal girl. Rob is just a normal kid, normal guy. And I think that they've had enough where they hate the Hollywood life enough, but still want to be a part of the business end of it, where them together could either equal a really dope friendship or maybe stem something in the beautiful relationship well I think the opposite. I think Coochie really? Coo. I think Coochie. You don't like Coochie Coo. No, I like her. I think she's beautiful. I really, really do like her as an individual, but I also think that she's money hungry, and when she sees opportunity, she's going to jump. She's I don't gonna... get that from her. Why do you get that from Really? Her? You don't get that from her? No, her first date with Chris Brown was at Norm's. Like... That doesn't mean anything. I mean, it doesn't have to at mean anything, all. but... I'm at norms with a guy who's worth how much? Of course I'm going to eat these pancakes and these grits and these eggs. Because <laughs> tomorrow no, I'm going to be on bitches, one thing, I know bitches y'all. that would be looking at Chris Brown like, why are we here? I wouldn't. I would have been like, can we get another order of grits? 
Yeah, but bitch, I feel like you would have said, can I get another order of grits? Because Ashley like grits. And Ashley's a real ass <laughs> That's bitch. That's right. And she be at motherfucking Norms being like, well, bitch, I mean, I eat Norms. Like, I eat Norms. But no I matter think, what my <laughs> net worth is, I, I still eat norms. norms. I really think that, Bitch, you a know. pancake is a motherfucking pancake. <laughs> I've had some bomb waffles, but a pancake... I think that Garucci, bless her heart, I think she's a good person, but she she wants to be comfortable. She wants to live comfortably. I think that this would be a good move on her part, both business-wise and, you know, personally. You hook up with the Kardashian and attach your name to their name and, oops, marry up. Hello. Well, speaking of marrying up, <laughs> ain't happening for Khloe Kardashian. Sorry, boo. However, as rumor has it, mm, and I can't with these, with these, um, what do they call them? Uh, sources. A close source, too. Because a, sor- a cl- source was Chris Jenner. You know, Chris done called and told everybody this. Thank you. So the sources is saying that Chloe want to get pregnant real soon. And so she, she's been trying. Well, apparently she trying real hard before Christmas. So apparently her and James Harden hard on because <laughs> she been looking like, hey, boo, I need you to, to get this wet now. So she been out here, apparently rumored, allegedly, yeah. that she has been forcing James to speed it up a little bit. And if. He can't get her pregnant by the December month. She's going to artificially inseminate herself. But what kind of guy that she's going to black? Duh. 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 This is what I don't like about this situation. Now, you know, I am very, I empathize with the, with the just circumstance. Like all these sperms aren't working for you, bitch. Like, why would you think artily, artificially inseminating yourself would work? I think that I don't know for sure, but I think that the chances are a little higher. Really? Yeah, I think so because it's so um, procedural. Yeah, and everything is just watched with a with a close eye. So I think it's your chances are a little higher. But she's been trying to get pregnant for a really, really, really long time. I know that she's been wanting a baby, and then here we go. You know, the oh, other sister just popping them out, and Kim's pregnant with her <laughs> second one. Honey, I'm tired. How many kids you gonna have? I was just never gonna forget when Courtney pulled that baby out her vagina herself. I was just like. <laughs> Yeah. P.S. What? Side side note. Reality what is it? TV worthy. You know the Victor twins from Bad Girls Club? No. Okay. So the twins from the Las Vegas season of Bad Girls Club. I'm minding my own business at home. Uh-huh. Right? What's going on? And Did I'm, they come for you? Because they somebody came from you the other day on Twitter and I was about to oh, jump no, into no, no, oh, that. Okay. was the Claremont twins. I don't okay. have to deal with that. So okay. That was the Claremont twins. I always get a bad girl's beef every season. Last season it was Natalie <laughs> Nunn. This season is the Claremont twins. Well, and it's over stupid book. shit. Yeah, bitch. Like, don't write a coloring book. Okay. So, anyways, but I am no shade towards the Claremont twins. That was just a Twitter fan and you want to listen to the 12 year olds. So that's cute. But, anyways, moving on from that, um, the relevant twins, the Victor twins. Um, at the moment so I'm sitting at home minding my own business and all of a sudden someone says hey did you see Danny and Gabby on Do- The Real Doctor Miami and I'm thinking well what show is that do you know have you heard of The Real Doctor Miami no girl reality TV has gone to another level you Up can down. watch it mm, you can take it as you want because every person I show it to it's either all the way this way or all the way that way so The Real Doctor <laughs> Miami is a snapchat and he basically has created i mean smart no it honestly there is a a little bit of genius to this no that's that's really i give him credit for that so what does he do what's the show about because you know periscope is like live streaming so mm -hmm. you can definitely have a show doing that i'm surprised he doesn't have this on periscope actually he probably doesn't have iphone but so the real dr miami is a plastic surgeon is he black? Why? What's his ethnicity? He is white. Okay. He has an office of beautifully, beautiful looking people. I mean, the girls are just everything. Yeah. He has this one boy. He is in there. He's just flying. Is he, he younger even... or? Who, the doctor? Yeah. Mm, actually, he kind of would probably be your type. Yes. Coins? Here. Watch this. Good morning, everybody. My name is Michael. He is a... First of all, can we get a close up on this mofo? He got the nerd and say, you know who <laughs> Be your type. Girl, you, you be tra- liking you. you be you no, watch tra- what he does though. He, you be liking you some white boys though, Ashley. Not he is not gay. Oh, she's and cute. And you got coin. No, oh, she's girl. not. Okay, go away. No, hold up. 
Yeah, fast forward it. So basically, what he does? Oh my gosh! He shows you. No. Girl. Whoa. She has, see how she has a SpongeBob Square bo bottom? This is a girl. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my Jesus. Now look, you're gonna see live on his oh, Snapchat. Oh no! Live on his Snapchat, y'all. He caught into her punani. He be cutting up people and like shoving it in. I just want to show you one girl. Oh, that is like Ray's so, Anatomy, but real life. But real life. Check it out. What is the Snapchat? The real Dr. Miami. And we need to get him in studio for this one because we give you promo. But like, y'all, like, it is like, first of all, I can't believe that he can actually put this on television. These people have but to it's sign Snapchat. consent. But Snapchat. Yo, but let me tell you, the bitches from Bad Girls Club, on Bad Girls Club, they were known as SpongeBob Square Bodies. <laughs> And they own it. They're like, yes, that's what we are. Really? You can't, at their level, you have to because it was. Bitch, their bodies now. One of the twins took the fat out of one or, out of her her sister who just had had a baby uh -huh. and put it in her ass. I'm done with that. I'm so done with but build a ever, build, build a bare body. bodies. Yeah. I'm so I over it. it. Like at this point, I'm like, I am so happy with like my petite, no titty, no butt. Like I'm good. Like I don't have to. Like I'm good. So I'm good. so tired of the, everyone looks the same now. It's like no one's unique because everyone wants to have like that hour glass corset whatever they call it with the i'm like i'm done well speaking of unique hazel lee mm. uh she quit loving hip-hop yeah i saw that now we don't know exactly why i'm gonna tell you my reasoning she why. didn't get a lot of like when she first posted it she didn't get a lot of like retweets or like oh no like no one cared but honestly no one really cares about loving hip-hop hollywood I've been paying attention to I the wonder why. Mm. Honey, you see that dusty uh cast? Who checking for Lil Fizz? Girl, that does that cast looking like American. Who tail checking west. for Soldier Boy? Looking like Fava Goes West. Ain't nobody check ain't who checking for Ray J and Ray J needed like, like Django. I just can't. And Ray J looked dust D. Did you see him? He was just on TMZ and some they were asking him a, a question and he just kept asking for hot dogs. Like where the hot dogs? Where the hot dogs? Where the But he was probably I know. But um, that's in there. But I'm living for the new couple, Brandy and Max, because they are on 13 yeah and living um okay so she said she's not desperate she feels overqualified and not respected she feels like if you actually knew her in mm. her business life mm. in real life mm. and then watch what happens on love and hip-hop mm. they be shading the fuck out of her <sighs> so she said being on the sto the show has started to change me and it's made me negative i've never been a negative person i see that girl and i'm honestly i've always felt bad for hazel on the show because i did feel like they were dogging her out and I'm actually really happy that she's walking away from it. Walking away and out of it into what? Well, she says, I personally don't know. We're going to see a little more of this next week. But I personally don't know. But she says that she has been working with her whole, like, for a long time. Working you with do not and... quit a job until you have another one secure. But she's saying, That's the but, only no, no, problem but she's I saying have. She is a boss. Like, she has a career. And Love and Hip Hop isn't portraying that. What is it? Apparently, she's a manager, a music manager. Uh, she works with... Girl, I don't know what her situation is, you know. But that's like the other kid. What's his name? Milan. Fucking talking about he a producer. And I'm like... Get on a reality show. If you're on there, turn up and then get a spinoff. Period. Okay, Michelle. Sorry. That's Steven what you have Johnson. to do. If you sign up for a reality show, you cannot expect to be portrayed a certain way. Because you know they're going to twist it and turn it. You signed up for it. Now you need to turn up and take advantage of it and get you a spinoff or Boom. two. Um, she hasn't really put out uh, an answer as to why. But here's what I think it is. She got fired. No, I don't think she Boring. really got fired. So I was invited. Mm -hmm. uh, Monice's publicist had invited me to Hazel E's... Listen, EP listening party. Mm -hmm. I didn't end up going. Um, <laughs> no, I know, but no shade. I don't, I don't really be doing events like they just be boring me. Like I just be sitting, everyone be sitting there. It's like you just get shit faced drunk for free. And Jesse be on Snapchat like, um, yeah, I'm done. <laughs> I be so over <laughs> events, y'all. Um, so I can drink at home for cheaper. Like, <laughs> um, anyways, so. That event happened on a Thursday. I didn't go to the event, but then the next day I had seen that Milan, who's apparently her friend from the mm -hmm. show, and Nikki Baby, Miss Nikki Baby, yeah. had a fashion show the same exact night. 
So I'm wondering if Hazel thought Love and Hip Hop was going to film her <laughs> EP party, but instead, Shadiness set up the Milan and N- Miss Nikki baby fashion show or whatever and then went and filmed that and Hayes was like y'all ain't gonna give me no credit for nothing like I, I, I'm wondering if th- I know that's like really to take it deep to a deep level but I kind of listening to what she's saying she can't really give that away so that she hasn't given a real definitive answer and yeah I, I feel like she's not giving a definitive answer because at the same time <laughs> At the same time, you know what I mean? She signed under contract. So I'm wondering if that's the case. I want to, I'm going to, and when she come in studio, I'm going to propose that and she can tell me yes or no. You know, I think that they just didn't think that it was going to be fun or interesting. So Mm -hmm. they just didn't show up. She gives me Carly Red, you know? All right, moving on from that. Let's get into it. My favorite (gasps) reality check or reality X. So what you got for us? Girl, you seen the Emmys? The who? The Emmys. Yes. Yes, Miss Viola Davis. All right, so Miss Viola Davis was winning. Yeah. You heard her speech? I loved her speech. Tell me what you thought about it. Until her somebody came for her. Girl, Miss Nancy. On Twitter. No, I thought that her speech was very powerful. Um, she was very eloquent and passionate. And I really loved it. It really came from a uh, interrupt me. I play this on this week. Don't play it for this. The beehive no. put this together. Flowers and beautiful white women with their arms stretched out to me over that line. But I can't seem to get there no how. Oh! I can't seem to get over that line. Yes. That was Harriet Tubman in the Boom, bitch. You know what? I never. Check that out on my Twitter, yeah. Yes, I have video. never heard that, and that is hilarious. The I beh- love. Did that literally like a minute and fifty seconds after she ended her speech, and I was like, oh. "The Beehive don't play. They be on it." The, no, but what did you think about her speech? I thought her speech was exactly what it was supposed to do. It was yep. politically correct, if at that, because I feel like she should have went up there and said some real shit. Like y'all happens because when she said that white girls, we thought was like, <laughs> and come a little closer. So, what did you think about Nancy Lee's response? Girl, I'm just I'm not even going into her response. All I'm gonna say to Miss Nancy Lee is, girl, you've been 50 years in a soap opera. Like, I ain't got nothing for you other than reality X. <laughs> girl, you making me spell my shit. Reality X. Bye. I can't. You're all talking about all women are equal, bitch. We know that. Have yeah. you been paying attention to yeah. the Black Lives Matter versus All Lives Matter, bitch? We understand that our bitch ain't people ain't out here shooting up white people. People ain't out here shooting up Asians. Like it just ain't the thing. Well, what's going on out here is black people are being discriminated, boo boo. To be, I will say this: to be pro-black, it does not mean that you're anti-white. Right. It so wasn't, that's it wasn't pretty. About that. Yeah, I I totally get where Viola was coming from, not just as a black woman, but as a woman. And it was just a really great perspective, and I'm glad that she said it because a lot of us feel this way. But you know, it takes someone to say Talk it to about- put it on everyone's mind oh shonda should have wrote her speech for her girl by talk about oh i wish that <laughs> opportunity to play that character was available for me girl by uh charlie's angels wonder woman you know they can what? go down the fucking line like. but you let me say this Be- okay so do you reality x or reality check viola's um speech oh, of course re- reality, reality check, check for her it. speech but this wasn't about her speech this was about this bitch and i'd give her reality Nancy, check yeah. too and not even the essence of reality x or check mm. like bitch you need a reality uh, because I get you sad. I was check? like, you reality checking me? <laughs> Girl, no, bitch, go watch this week and get up on your motherfucking uh, <laughs> Black Lives Matter <laughs> movement, boo boo. <laughs> you know what? I'm going to steal Empire. I re okay, let me just say, I've never been a huge fan of Empire, but I wanted to give the second season a chance and an opportunity to swoon me and yeah. honestly you know i'm going to support and i'm going to continue to watch but there was just i read an article and the article pretty much said how empire 
is breaking down stereotypes by embracing them and i'm like really um is cookie, that breaking- up in a, cookie up in a gorilla costume for what his name is lucius lion bitch he should be a lion in a motherfucker. i cookie. didn't get it at all and you know it's i was just like it was what? like a black lives matter protest for a criminal and i'm just sitting here i'm like, like what free who no he killed somebody that's the problem free <laughs> what no, keep him in jail. And let's not try to correlate that with the shooting of anybody because he wasn't shot. He shot somebody. Like I that- didn't like it. Lee, Lee, you dare wrong for that. <laughs> I didn't like Why it. You look and so then bigger? I had to look Me at where are you? Which where you at? You in? And then they had to have a Don Lemon lemon drop in there. I'm like, don't even give him no camera no, time. I wasn't mad at Don't get him no, no camera time. I wasn't mad. That's the only I was more mad at no. Pete Pablo up in the jail so like girl. <laughs> No, because Cookie Don't didn't shade yeah. Cookie didn't shade him enough. She shaded and him. he I always like shade be shading enough. us who got shade on their no. skin. She shaded him in a politically correct way to be like, if that is your stance, and he because he does <laughs> yes, <laughs> Christ stole my breath. <laughs> Lord, still your breath. Oh, what are you doing? I uh, no. Uh, my feeling is first of all, P.S. Like Empire, like Reality X. Like I'm I done. Can't. Well, I'm, I'm not done. I'm gonna give it another go. I'm gonna watch it on and the, maybe Hulu, Mr. World Premiere, or whatever. But like the thing is, is just like. First of all, it was beyond bored the first episode. It was. It wasn't like, that good. I nah, yeah. want, y'all, you know what I mean? Like, y'all came with an interesting first season. Mm-hmm. I can't get the same thing because I feel like it's the same exact pace. Yeah. Like, the first episode episode should have something. Episode. <laughs> Not a show. First episode should have something in it that's going <laughs> to keep me there. So then I'm going to end the episode and be like, what's going to happen? <laughs> and I feel like that didn't happen. I feel like, why is Jesse looking like he bipolar? <laughs> I thought that was the older brother. Yeah. I'm just confused. I don't know where we stand. I don't know where we at. I'm just sitting over here looking like, why Cookie in a cage with a gorilla costume on? I was lost after that. And Cookie is too hood not to have shaded him a little bit more. That's the only thing. I'm just like, come on, Cookie. You just going to be cute with it and walk not only by? That, but Cookie, no. like, I get you have a life or death situation. But, like, my such thing is... For five years, he didn't come in, or how many years she was up in that jail, he didn't come and see you, and after three weeks, you up in there like, hey. Yeah. Bye. Reality X for me. X, Sorry. done. I'm going to watch Scandal tonight, because I didn't get to check it. Scandal was, pre- it was good. It wasn't like, ooh, like, edge of my seat good, but it was a really good first episode. So reality check it? Yeah. Uh, I reality checked that. How to get away with murder. Honey, honey, it? honey. <laughs> Yeah, it, it was really right. good. Because I'm I've been iffy about that one too. Scandal got me back up because I yeah. I didn't watch all last season. Yeah. I was Scandal was good last season. Right. It was no, really, really then good. Then when I watched it back, because I just finished watching it, it was good until the end. I was not happy with Olivia and him kissing on the outside of the White House like that. I was like, girl, what is this? <laughs> this is not the notebook. Bye. <laughs> um anyways, but shout out to Empire for getting sixteen point two million viewers, six point seven rating among adults eighteen to forty nine. Mm-hmm. Um all right, moving on up. Basketball wise, renewed for season five. Who's watching? Are you gonna watch? I mean I do it for Afterbus, so probably Yeah. But at this point, I mean, you know what? I'm gonna reality check it, and here's why. Because I feel like they have found I like Basketball Wives LA because I think Shawnee and Tammy are bullshit where they keep trying to make it seem like the LA girls. Um, oh, you guys always fight with each other and it's all this and that and we never fought with it. We always found a resolution. No, the fuck you didn't. You went seasons of tea with all these people. I feel like on LA, these girls are confused because they fight and argue at the beginning of the episode. The middle of the episode is them trying to find a resolution and then they solve it. And then the next episode, they get mad at each other. It's the same thing. Over and over. But I, I don't get sick of it because to me, Jackie is... You could put Jackie with anybody, and it is so it's entertaining. Gonna, yeah. There was a sit-down, like and I need to know what this was from. So if any of you guys know, please let me know. But it was a sit-down clip that I saw of Tierra Marie, Nicole... What's Paris Hilton's ex-best friend? Richie? Nicole Richie. Love Nicole. Jackie, Christie, and Malaysia. And it was Jackie, Christie, and Malaysia. Why was sh- Nicole there? 
They were shading Tierra, and Tierra was kind of trying to shade them back. I liked Tierra. I did too, but it I was really just do. an interesting group of girls, and I was like, is this going to be something? Like, that is just everything. So, yeah. I don't know, but what are you doing? Basketball-wise, five... Um, no, I, I really like it. I love Jackie. I think she's really funny, but she starts so much drama and so much mess. I kind of feel bad for her because at this age, you shouldn't be starting that drama. But again, I think it's the for TV. Yeah, I think Honestly. it's for TV. I think Shawnee needs to spice it up a little bit well, and stop Dre playing gone. Mother Hen. It's just like, let's, you know, let's get into your business. Mm -hmm. Like, stop trying to make everybody Thank be friends. Like, and just like, it. what's going on with you? Because you can go too and just be an EP behind the scenes. Because I'm tired of you. But Jackie's really funny. Uh, I mean, I love her. And Malaysia, she's shaking it up a little bit. I like but Malaysia. I like her, but I don't love her. She can go and I won't miss her. That's true. I'll miss Brandy, her I like I her. Really? I do. I like really? Brandy. I do. I like Brandy. That's so interesting. Um, all right. And then last but not least, the Kardashian app. That Who going to download it? Girl, apparently a whole Everybody. lot of people. Everybody. I'm not Kylie them. Jenner's is number one. Chris, I mean. Um, Kim is second. Kim is second. Chloe's third. And then Courtney. No, Kendall. Courtney. No, Kendall's one. last. Courtney doesn't have one. Oh, never mind. Kendall. What yeah. would hers? Ke Courtney should have one out of all of them. Courtney should have like a how to be a mom. I kind of I like I like Courtney out of everyone. It's Courtney for me, and then Chloe, and then Kendall, and then Kylie, and then Ken. Really? Yeah. Kylie is personally at the bottom for me. I love Kylie. Wait, no, I love Kendall out of them too. Out of the Jenner sisters, I like Kylie more. No, Kendall more. Kylie, you know what? It's so funny because I was recently watching the show and I'm like, she doesn't look like her Instagram. Who? Kylie? None of them, honestly. Mm. But like, they all look very um, juicy on camera. And um, <laughs> I'm just saying. Let me look out this window. <laughs> But especially Kylie, she looks nothing like she does on Instagram. Did you see? I was recently watching TMZ. I love you, Harvey. Um, hire me. Um, so I was recently watching TMZ. Did you see the picture of her with no makeup? She looked so cute. No. Like she wasn't like a bombshell, like sex kitten, but she looked like a regular 18 year old. And she, I wish I had the picture. She was really, she was a cute girl. And um, of course, she didn't have the lip. She didn't have her extensions in. And then like, you're lying because of one picture on her Instagram. She was like, oh my gosh, my hair has grown so long. Bitch, where? No, bitch. First of all, I've seen this thing. I'm going to see if I can find it and retweet it. Um, so it was an Instagram clip clip of Kylie from before uh -huh. and then they photoshopped everything <laughs> to show you to what she looks like now yeah and it shows how much plus like girl stop lying to anybody but you know what that recent picture that that I saw with her with no makeup or anything on her like it doesn't I don't know I didn't look study like she it had too much I don't no, think she don't had think like actual surgery I think it's injections just Botox. I think it's different types of injections. Yeah, I think and I don't no, consider I don't think Botox bo really. Fillers. I think fillers. Cuz I don't really consider that plastic surgery cuz that do. wears off mm, and you have fillers, to keep going. You're putting something in your body. True. Okay. Mm -mm. But she I just think that she's just so like depressed and confused yeah, in her I mind agree with that. and I because really at think that age yeah. too. Like think about you growing up like yeah. Um, as I look at your boobs. I, I noticed that. I was like, well, you try this. <laughs> I don't want them, girl. Um, but think about that. How old were you when you feel like you fully went through the development? Because I know some I'm, girls I at ain't 20, got to it yet. At, at, at some girls, I know 22-year-old, one of my friends, she was like, I feel like my boobs are finally getting bigger. Yeah. So it's like, if you're putting that stuff in your body mm -hmm. and you're still growing, like, how does that affect you? I mean, I think that it's it's just it's she's something is I think something is really really wrong with her with her dad going through the transition and you know to becoming Caitlyn and then she's in the spotlight and people expect her to look a certain way and I feel sorry for her but then again you have a mind of your own and when do I stop making excuses for you? And did you today? hear about the um, Ink Monster situation? No, tell me. So there's this rapper Ink Monster and then this other Ink Monster other guy too. He looked crazy. He has like one of them like. Uh, what's the Joker? Smile. Smile. Tattooed. Tattooed on his face. Is he black or white? White. And, Figures. Um, basically, he said, <laughs> him and Ink Monster are saying that him and Kylie, they have all smashed Kylie and Kylie's laughing. They posted all these 
uh, Instagram DM messages. They put a diss song out. The song's horrible, and they're probably just trying to catch fame from it. And she probably did suck their dick at one point in the situation. All right, but wh- why would she, though? Does, do they have coins? Like, could they put her mm, on? I mean, think about it. Think, She's a Jenner. Think, but I don't think Kylie's looking at it like that. I think there was a point in Kylie's life when she, before She's she... She's a teenager. Before she got the... And she was Kylie Jenner with an app. Yeah. I feel like she was around these mediocre hip hop dudes in LA sucking some day, you know what I mean? Like, yeah, you know, like Kim's my sister. Like, yeah. I kind of can see that. I can see it if it was a black guy, but because you said no, he no, was no. white. No, no, no. Wait, one of them is black. Okay, he's probably biracial, but he looked white. Mm-hmm. But he has like this, like, really scary, like, it's scary. For yeah. me personally, it's scary, but. I've seen girls be attracted to something like that before. They look like insane clown posse. Well, one, this guy. Wow. But the other one, he kind of fine. Like, he looked like a tiger Chris Brown hybrid with tattoos on his face, mm, though. Done. No, I know. I would do You know what I mean? Like, I need to so, get... So, that's so you. No. I'm still tripping over uh, this doctor that you... <laughs> the real Dr. Miami. Okay. But as far as the Kardashian <laughs> app, I give the Kardashian app... A reality X, unless they get a Chris Jenner app. I would, I would actually check out the Chris Jenner app. I give them a reality check only because it's a great business move. Sure. However, I am not downloading it. But then again, I'm not their demographic, or I may be, but I'm just not. Well, people that are irritated fan. because it's a free download, but then you pay a three dollars subscription, and then it's, on top of it, it's like in app purchases. Yeah, it's, doing it's just it's way too much. But Kylie's in the lead, which is which is crazy. She beat out Kim. Yep. And I, I mean, I honestly think that Kim is just has taken a back seat to her sisters now, which I give her credit for only because she's a mom and now she wants to do her mom thing and she wants a family. I don't, I don't think she's mad at it at all because if she was, we would see her naked somewhere Boom. right about now. Ooh, right. Well, we ain't got so, another refrigerator post. You know, I mean, that was three weeks ago. Girl. Let's not so, and then that, that would nor- normally for Kim, it would be like every other day. And we would get those butt booty naked, honey pulled over my body refrigerator posts. But I think that she just took it back seat and she's like, whatever, you guys can have it. I have my money. I have my husband. I have my daughter. I'm pregnant again. I'm so happy. Not mad at her. Do you know who my boyfriend is? Yeah. Yeah. So, well. speaking of, did you, you know what, Kanye? I'm just going. 2007, 16 is his year. Oh, no, girl. It ain't his year. And on that note, girl, let's wrap it up. <laughs> <laughs> we ain't even getting into no. We can say that for Black Tea Party, y'all, because we ain't talking about no idea of K- Kanye West, Donald Trump running. The only time we talking about Donald Trump other than this bitch is when Celebrity Apprentice come back on. Yeah, that's true. Boom. That's true. So yeah. <laughs> on that note, y'all. Thank y'all for tuning in. <laughs> Where can everybody find you? Bitch, everyone can find me ah! everywhere. Everywhere at DJ Jesse J. And that is not spelled with an I. <laughs> Thank you. And everyone can find me at Ashley Gray TV on Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much for tuning in. Give us five stars. Check out all of the shows on AfterBuzz TV. Jesse, where can they find you? Girl, on- not on AfterBuzz. You're on the wrong show. No, I know I'm talking, talking about, about you, me. Basketball Wise. Yes, Basketball Wise, loving hip hop. Sundays, wag. Mondays, hit them up. Every day, bitch, just tune in to AfterBuzz. I'm there somewhere <laughs> every the motherfucking day. I'm here all day on Friday, too. And yes, but please check out our other shows on Black Hollywood yes. Live this week. Black Tea Party. We got a whole bunch of tea for y'all. Thank you. But remember, DJ Jesse J with no I. <laughs> Stop. Bitch, they be spelling my name when I'm like, clearly I'm tweeting at you and my name is with an E. Bye, guys. See you next week. Bye. He was like. From executives Kevin Undergaro, Dario Kristen, Tiana Hobson, and the entire BHL staff, we would like to thank you for supporting Black Hollywood Live, the first online broadcast network dedicated to African American entertainment. For questions and comments, contact us. Info at BlackHollywoodLive.com. Like us on Facebook, tweet us, or Instagram us at BHL Online. And I am the official voice of Black Hollywood Live, Scipio. Instagram me at KingXO Bay. Thanks for tuning in. Hollywood Hollywood. (laughs) Redefined! The views expressed here are those of the host only and do not necessarily reflect the views of BHL or its owners or principals.